The Pearl Africa Sat 1, Uganda's first indigenous satellite, has taken to space aboard America's National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA spacecraft. Earlier on Sunday, the long awaited launch suffered a temporary setback as a fire alarm went off at the Mission Operation Control Center in Virginia, USA. Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Monica Mosenero, alongside Bonnie Omara and Edgar Mojuni, two of the three Ugandan space engineers who developed the satellite, were among the audience watching pictures live from NASA. At exactly 1.32 p.m., the countdown began and history was made. Now we prepare to communicate and benefit from the satellite, to train more people, to take more assets into space, design bigger, better satellites as we want, to do much more. But truly, our appreciation goes to our engineers. I'm feeling so excited. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> But finally, the day is here. Uh, and it has gone. It has gone. Yeah, I'm so excited for the day, really, because it's the first time for this to happen in my life, like to see your baby, you know, take off into ISS. It's really a great feeling that I, I think, I don't know, I'm overwhelmed. The NASA spaceship carrying the Ugandan satellite is expected to dock at the International Space Station in around 15 hours, and then it will be offloaded before deployment into low Earth orbit in weeks to come. And it was written there that Uganda's satellite is on board and the launch was successful. What next? To get to work. Get to work. We need to make sure the Earth station is ready. Uh, we have made a lot of progress. The installation of the equipment which we got and uh, preparing such that um, uh, by the time it is uh, actually deployed in the orbit and starts sending information, our, our station here is ready. With its three to five year lifespan, Minister Musenero says plans are underway to develop more satellites as part of a wider space program for Uganda. When that satellite is uh, done with its lifespan, we are going to have uh, other satellites. We are planning about 18 months to launch a bigger satellite in 18 months, about 18 months, if everything goes well, we should be launching another satellite. The satellite is expected to feed Ugandan scientists at the station in Impoma Mukono district with accurate information in six primary areas including weather forecast, land mapping, mineral mapping, water, agriculture monitoring, infrastructure planning, border security and disaster prevention among others. The developers say Pal Africa Sat 1 has a multispectral camera payload which will provide research and data observation high resolution images. But won't it be abused to infringe on privacy or spy on regime opponents? I don't have the liberty to discuss the security aspects. So we know they are there, but we don't have the liberty to discuss. The Science, Technology and Innovation Secretariat looks at this as the beginning of Uganda's development pivoted on technology. However, the budget for this government of Uganda fully funded space project is still unknown. Edward Mhumza, NTV. <laughs>